r slash too afraid to ask. Martha Wolf says. Why do some people believe Sandy Hook isn't real? I'm not talking about what evidence they may have for or against the shooting being fake, but what would the motive have been for staging a shooting of young children? I've heard gun control, but that obviously hasn't happened in this country. There also seems to be a lot of moving parts, like not one anonymous whistleblower in the whole town. So what motive did the government have that convinces some people this shooting didn't happen? Namadusa of Reddit says. Never heard anyone I will actually take that position. Trolls and edgelords only. Don't forget people looking for hate clicks. Ivor79 says. And a congresswoman from Georgia. Hypnodru says. Let's be real, she's just a cannon grifter who got enough crazes to elect her into office, that's why she knows literally nothing about the actual function of politics. Max says. The biggest one I saw was people thought it was fake because they didn't see the bodies. Which is stupid, because who wants to see 20 some odd little dead kids? Years and years ago I read a thing about how people will refuse to believe major tragedies, or accuse them of being fake, because it's easier than facing the reality of the world we live in, it's an awful, cold, violent place most of the time. Pocket Buckle says. It's an idea I've heard that might sound distasteful, but hear me out, the news needs to start showing the bodies in the aftermath. When they remove any doubt as to the absolute atrociousness of what has happened, it takes a lot of wind out of the skeptics' sails. I was already pissed about how the situation in Uvald was handled, or mishandled, but I recently saw some photos of the pools of blood in the classrooms, and it really added some extra gravity to the whole thing. This kind of imagery is shocking and disgusting, but that's the point. People need to see the consequences of what they are tolerating to start to understand. Eats of Earth Sink says. The first hand footage of kids from Parkland running by their dead classmates and slipping on blood while being unsure if the voice telling them to come out was actually a cop or not was infinitely more impactful for me than anything I cold read about Columbine, Virginia Tech, etc. Combined. Carpenter 1965 says. Pizzagate. Quanon. Flat Earth. Red Dragon. Silver Collide. 5G chips in the vaccine. People are morons. R slash too afraid to ask. Steramine 322 says. Is it wrong for me, a grown adult male, to play with the neighbor kids? For context, M28 male, still live with parents due to financial stuff. My neighbor across the street has 4 kids, 16 f, 15 male, 8 female, 7 meters. The younger two has other friends around the neighborhood that play here. The 16 female, isn't actively living here, she's at her grandmother's house. Anyways, occasionally when I have a night off I'll go outside and play with the younger 3 kids and some of their other friends. I've known the parents. Since I myself was 10 years old, so they trust me with their kids like him a big sibling. In fact the 15 male has said that him the bigger brother has always wanted, since he'll help him with homework, take him and the other kids to school, or like a month ago when I helped recover his stolen bike. So in close with the family, always have been. But tonight something changed for me. The realization that this doesn't feel right. Emma grown. Adult. These are children. While I feel like a kid again, rekindling my lost childhood, when I play with them, tonight something broke in me. Nothing bad happened. Nothing wrong, harmful, or illegal happened. I think my mind simply snapped at the realization that it doesn't feel right. I mean I love those kids, like they are my siblings. I love giving them a good childhood, someone to play tag, hide and seek. Or whatever schoolyard game I can think of. I love being a somewhat decent role model for them. But tonight I don't feel right continuing this anymore. It could be my worsening depression given other circumstances in my life, but I'll be honest I don't feel comfortable playing with those kids anymore. 
and it's not like I spend all day every day waiting for them to come home. I still have my own adult life, adult responsibilities, adult obligations, adult friend circles, adult interests, adult hobbies. Goblin Stumper says. It's not wrong at all, but sounds like you're moving from big bro to fun uncle. All relationships evolve, so it's okay to step back or away from it, if that's what you want. Just make sure you're looking after yourself, and keeping the old noodle in check. Megad17 says. As long as both the parents and the kids are okay with it, and there's nothing inappropriate involved, or even considered, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Be a role model to them, set an example of fair play, and a positive outlook. Teach them useful things you've learned growing up. It sounds like you're not obligated to interact with them, nor should you feel like you are. Doesn't sound like you are obsessed. No different than if they were your family, like nieces slash nephews, or something similar. Siruman Theslag says. You're overthinking and putting a paranoid flex on a sweet relationship you have with these young adults and kids. Pianist Sapersoldia says. Not at all weird. How people will react to it depends on the people and the culture of the country you're in. I know the user has this weird thing about adult men not being able to interact with kids without looking weird, but my home country was big on the whole it takes a village thing, so I have fond memories of being played with by everyone of every gender I ran into. Tamanala Grindelfel says. There is nothing wrong with what you're doing, and it's fine to take a break or cut back. But I'm a little concerned slash confused about how you say something broke, and you instantly feel it's completely wrong and appropriate. Take care of yourself, don't let depression suck all that joy out of your life. Murder Machine 101 says. Op you're overthinking it big time nothing is wrong with you playing with these kids, as long as you handle your business. You're clearly a big positive influence on these kids and they see you as a cool adult in their lives they can trust. Ain't nothing wrong or weird about it. Jmgjil4684 says. Yay man I hop in football games or hoops sometimes, when it's nice out. R slash too afraid to ask. Fmeronite says. BF said I look like a boy with filter, am I overreacting? I'm very insecure about my face and absolutely loathe taking pictures. When I do take pictures, it would need to be extremely appealing, so I use good angle and filters. My BF says I look nice in real life, and in my older pictures, but this one recent picture I took where I used a filter, that only cleared my acne disgusted him. It wasn't even anything extravagant, it's a real picture of me with no acne. No extreme face altering filter. He said I looked ugly, and like a boy. He was appalled. Almost like it was the worst thing has ever seen. He cold believed that's what I looked, like despite seeing me in real life with that same look lol. He was being so rude and insensitive about it. I felt a little confident taking a normal casual pic with minor face clearing filter, without me glammed up, and he straight up calls me ugly despite seeing me in real life. What do I do to deserve, being treated like this all the time? I get called ugly daily, and hearing it also coming from someone who claims that your beautiful stings sharper than a bee. Then again, why should I be upset? I used minor filter after all. Maybe if I didn't, he would think differently? Vinitwina says. Some filters can affect other features of the image that aren't intended. I'd try to speak with him about any problems or misunderstandings. Lost a lifetime love, because of my inability to do that. Hope you can work things out for whatever's best for both of you. Ok Entertainer 7721 says. He shouldn't have said it. Tbh though, I know which ones you are talking about and honestly, they make the person look worse. I have never seen a single one and thought, that sure made them look good. CyborgB73 says. He responded in an inappropriate way. It's fine if he doesn't like the picture, but there are plenty of ways to say that without being rude. Like, 
I think the filter is too obvious, and you look better without it anyway. Or point out specific things that the filter changed that makes him think you're more beautiful without it, you mentioned it made your face puffier. The silver lining is that he likes your real face better than the filter, but it sounds like you'd really have to read between the lines to get to that. Plus silver linings don't make up for outright rudeness. Powell Balls says. My partner could look like a boy with a filter and I would never be disgusted by her. The problem is him. Emotional 29075 says. It was rude of him, and this need proper discussion. The filter part has little truth though. Most Baringston says. He sounds like an ass. There is a big difference between I don't think that's a good picture of you. You look much better in person or other pictures. Versus being rude and disgusted by it. He chose the second option, and it says a lot about who he is. Yes no maybe not so says. I think he's overreacting on purpose to try and train you into valuing your image without filters, by saying you look ugly with any filter, regardless of what it does. I don't really believe this filter only remove acne and doesn't change anything else, and I'm sorry to say I'm not going to trust your judgement on the matter if you truly think filters look better than what's real. But your BF does sound like he's being a bit of a dill hole about it. That said, I would believe that he would think differently if you used no filter. He didn't call you ugly, he called the fake processed plastic skin of a filter ugly. Which it probably is. Filters look really stupid to a lot of people. That doesn't mean you are ugly though. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.